Welcome back to Custom Carnage 2024. If you're new here, welcome aboard. Where tonight we kick off our Celestial 16. Some of the best, finest die cast modified racers in the world will be competing here tonight in our Celestial 16. Let's get right to it and check them out. Coming to us all the way from the Ocidian Mountain Raceway. At Griffin's old die cast motorsports, it will be Griffin. In the 2016 Honda Civic. Up next we have Leo from Rena Racing, trying to prove he's the king of the track in his 2021 Lotus. Lily may be cute, but this dog is good on the track. It is Lily the dog from Lily's Boneyard in the 2021 Lightning Bug. There's not much I can say about him that hasn't already been said. It is the one, the only Numbskull from Numbskull Racing in his 97 Corvette. Kicking off our action tonight. Up front we have Griffin on the inside, Leo on the out. In the back row we have Lily the Dog on the inside and Numbskull on the out. And we are racing tonight. It's a tight battle there between Griffin and Leo. Griffin shoots out to the lead. Oh, going down that first corner. Oh, Lily tangled up there with Leo. Holy cow, here comes Numbskull coming out of the end. Here you go, folks. It is going to be Griff, Lily the Dog, Numbskull, Leo. It was Griff that jumped out to the front of that last lap and never looked back, folks. We are back up at the top of the Comatel Raceway. It is Lily the Dog out to the lead. Oh, boy, Lily gets a little bit loose right there, but she's got it back under control now, folks. Here we go. Down and that slingshot down into Widowmaker Run. And it will be Lily the Dog, Griff, Leo, Numbskull. We had some tight racing action down there at the bottom as it was Griff barely squeezing out second over Leo. It is Griff and Lily the Dog in control, but Leo and Numbskull are still in it. We're back up at the top of the Comatel Raceway. Here we go, folks. It is Lily the Dog taking the lead. Coming down here into that Armageddon corner. She's got a nice lead here, but Numbskull's right on her tail. Numbskull's trying to close in that gap. Can he do it? Coming down here to the end, folks. It will be Lily the Dog, Numbskull, Leo, as we lost Griff. Here's what happened to Griff as he comes down into that slingshot and just rolls it over. Lily the Dog will be moving on to that final eight. As it is Griff and Numbskull and Leo battling it out. Oh, right off the bat, you got... Lily the dog put in a block there on Leo. That's going to really hurt his possibilities. Come down here to the end. It is Numbskull way out front. Into that slingshot we go. Oh no, bad timing. Griff just rolled it over yet again. Back to back races. As it will be Numbskull, Lily the dog, and then Leo. It will be Lily the dog and Numbskull moving on to that astral late. And Griff, oh what a tough way to get knocked out of here. He looked so good, and you had two back-to-back -back racer where you rolled it over there into that slingshot. Hate to see you go, buddy. That was a heck of a way to do it. Hope to see you back here real soon. Leo, congratulations on making the Sweet 16. Hope to see you back here real soon. I hate to see you go, but we will see you back here again, hopefully. Let's meet our next four cars competing tonight. Starting us off in our second heat of the night is the car that's probably surprised me the most this season. Making it all the way to the Celestial 16, and I'm sure glad he has. But it's been a joy watching Fat Dad from Fat Dad Racing in the 2021 Nissan Maximum Drift Wagon. Up next, my mom is still in it. It's not. No, we're not doing this again. It is my mom from Rihanna Racing in the 2021 Batista. And he's back, and we are sure glad that he is. No matter how much alcohol you drink, you cannot get rid of a numbskull. It is numbskull from numbskull racing. This time in the 2003 Tuscan. In one of the prettiest Corvettes to ever grace the Comatel Raceway, it is someone you hardly ever see low on the racing circuit. It is Arlo from Arlo Racing in the 97 Corvette. This ought to be one heck of a battle, folks. Is up front, we're going Fat Dad on the inside. My mom on the out. In the back row, we'll have Numbskull on the inside. Arlo on the out. Good luck to these four. And we are off. It is my mom out to lead. And right off the bat, you got Arlo putting in a block there on Numbskull. And looky, there you got Fat Dad out to it. A little bit of a lead, but he's really being challenged there 
by my mom coming down here to that Widowmaker run. Here we go, folks. It is going to be Fat Dad, my mom, Arla once again putting a block on Numbskull. It is Fat Dad that keeps a rolling with the first place finish right there, folks. As we're back up to top of the Comatel Raceway, and we are off. And it is Numbskull out to a lead down that first straight. Now he's coming down here in Armageddon Corner. But looky there, you got my mom trying to make a move. It, it is Numbskull shutting the door on him in a hurry. Coming down here to that widow make a run. It will be Numbskull, Fat Dad, Arlo, my mom. My mom really tried to make a move there, folks. Coming there in the Armageddon Corner, but the veteran driver closes the door. We are at the midway point of our second heat. It is anybody's competition. As we are off and racing, it is Arlo out to a bit of a lead, but he's really bottomed out there with Numbskull. He closes that door on Numbskull. And Arlo wants this one bad, folks, as he's out to a nice lead here. Oh, look at Numbskull get spun around there. That's not good. That's going to slow him way down. It will be Arlo, Numbskull, my mom, Fat Dad. Look at these points, folks. It's all come down to this fourth and final race of this heat. All four cars are still in it. We are off with this Fat Dad out of a bit of a lead right there. It's a neck and neck battle, actually. Here comes Numbskull making a charge here for second place. It's going to be Arlo taking back second place. Now it's going to be Numbskull taking back second place. Here we go. Down to the end, it will be Fat Dad, Numbskull, Arlo, my mom. Holy cow, folks, i got to catch my breath as we just witnessed the race of the night here so far. Look at that back-and-forth battle going on there between Fat Dad and Arlo, but it is Fat Dad that takes that lead, which opens up the door. Looky there, you got Numbskull taking over second place. He gets tangled up. He's trying to get around Fat Dad. That opens up the door for Arlo to take over second. Coming down to that Widowmaker run, where it is going to be Numbskull that takes back over second as we just watched a battle between two of the greats. After that epic battle, here is how our points played out for our second heat of the night. It will be Fat Dad and Numbskull moving on to that Elite Eight coming up. Arlo, unfortunately, you've been eliminated. One heck of a show you put on. Appreciate you joining us. Hope to see you back here real soon. My mom, what a show you put on. Congratulations for both you and Arlo for making it to that Celestial 16. Hope to see you back here real soon. Let's meet our next four cars that will be competing tonight. It don't matter the color of the flames if you have them. Your fast ass Cooper from MQH Racing is showing. This time in his 2008 Lancer Evolution. It don't matter if he's in a car, a truck, or a horse. This cowboy is going to be hard to beat. It is Shotgun Cowboy, our returning champion from Milestone Racing in the 2023 Ford F-150. He has been in superhero mode since the beginning of this tournament. It is Craigster Sr. driving the Rocketeer from Hot Nuts Diecast. A 2018 Jaguar I-Pace Trophy. It is our Season 1 Champion Boondocks from MQH Racing. It's time in the 2006 Nitro Door Slammer. Folks, this has been a competition I've been waiting on all night long. As you've got the Season 1 Champion Boondocks taking on our Season 2 Champion Shotgun Cowboy. But he's got to worry about Boondocks' teammate Cooper right there with him. As you've also got Craig Starr Sr. sitting back there going, you boys battle it out. And watch me sneak in here and take over this competition. And we are off. It is Shotgun Cowboy with just a little bit of a lead right there. Coming up here it is Boondocks getting to make it a pass there past his teammate. He's trying to find a way to get himself around. Shotgun Cowboy coming down here to the end. Can he do it? No, it's going to be Shotgun Cowboy, Boondocks, Cooper, Craigster Sr. All right, folks, back up to the top of the comment tail we are as they like Shotgun Cowboy taking that last one in a nice battle. Here we go. He is off to that lead again. Here, folks, here comes Boondocks trying to make the pass there. Around Craigster Sr. He cannot do it. Now Craigster Sr. is going to look for an opening here to make it a pass. Shotgun Cowboy coming down here to that Widowmaker run. We go, folks. It will be Craigster or Shotgun Cowboy, Craigster Sr., Cooper, Boondocks. There we go, folks. Shotgun Cowboy taking the first two races in this heat. He's had a clean sweep in round number one. Can he do it again as they are off? It is Boondocks with the lead. No, it is Craigster Sr. taking over that lead. Coming down here into that drifter straight. Oh, we got a cluster up there. They've got to straighten back out. Coming down here to Widowmaker Run. It will be Craigster Sr., Boondocks, Shotgun Cowboy Cooper. 
It will be Shotgun Cowboy moving on once again as Craig the Senior Boo Dogs will be battled out to see will be joining him. Cooper's got an outside shot, but he's going to need some DNFs here as he does take that lead coming out that first straight. Now it's going to be Boondocks take the lead. Cooper gets up on the side and takes out an alien. And you've got Craigster Senior Shotgun Cowboy slowing way down, battling it up there, getting tangled up. Coming down here to the end, it will be Boondocks. Cooper, it's going to be a battle. Craigster Senior, then Shotgun Cowboy. And there you have it, folks. It will be Shotgun Cowboy and Boondocks moving on to that Astro Late. It is Season 1 Champion and Season 2 Champion both moving on. That's kind of cool. You've got Craigster Sr. that just barely missed out. Craigster Sr., hate to see you go, buddy. But I hope to see you back here again real soon. Heck of a try. Cooper, your teammates moving on, so I know I'll see you again here real soon. Let's meet our last four cars competing tonight. This is one long car, and he definitely has not come up short on the track this season. It is Smelly Kelly from Feral Mods in the Nitro Door Slammer. Being both slink and pink means it's got to be fast. It is Fractal Panda from Fractal Panda Diecast Racing in the 2014 Rogue Hog. We've already seen his partner move on. Now we'll get to see the man behind it all. It is Dusty Miles from Milestone Diecast in the Unobtainable. He keeps going like this. He'll be able to buy himself a home and no longer be a stray as it is Stray Dog from Kamikaze Diecast Racing in the 2014 Bully Goat. This is one of those races you just have no idea how it's going to go. Is we're going to start off with Smelly Kelly up front on the inside, Fractal Panda on the out, Dusty Miles on the inside, Stray Dog on the out in the back row. Here we are, folks. Final heat of the night. Is it Fractal Panda? No, it's going to be Smelly Kelly taking over that lead. Coming down here into that slingshot. It is going to be first and second in a group, and then third and fourth in a group as we come down here to the end. It will be Smelly Kelly. Oh, beautiful pass. Dusty Miles. Fractal Panda straight off. Let's take a quick look here at the end as it was Fractal Panda that got sideways. It looked like Dusty Miles is going to run into him and does a beautiful pass to take second. And here we go, folks. It was Smelly Kelly taking lap number one. Dusty Miles right there. And we are off. It is going to be Dusty Miles taking that lead right out of the gate. He's going to hold on to that lead now going down here into that drifter straight. They're lined up nicely. It looks like everybody's going to finish again. Nice clean race. And it will be Dusty, Fractal, Panda, Straight Dog, Smelly Kelly. We are now at the midway point as it is Dusty Miles out front. Smelly Kelly and Fractal Panda right there with him. Straight Dog needs to get it going here. As they are off and Straight Dog is battling it out there for that first place. But no, it's going to be Shotgun Cowboy taking that first place spot. Coming down here to that dripper straight down into the slingshot they go. All four cars still running nice and clean here, folks. As it will be Dusty, Straight Dog, Smelly Kelly, Fractal Panda. Here we go, folks. Final race of the night as it will be Dusty Miles moving on. But who will be joining him as the other three cars are right there packed together. And they are off. It is Smelly Kelly out to a lead. Oh, he's trying to push Stray Dog off the side of the track there. But Stray Dog's got it back under control here now. Come down here to that final run. It is going to be Smelly Kelly, Stray Dog, Dusty Miles, Fractal Panda. And here's how we're going to end things tonight, folks. As it will be Dusty Miles and Smelly Kelly moving on to that Astral 8. Stray Dog, Fractal Panda, sorry to see you guys go. Hope to see you back here real soon. I tell you what, folks, this has been one heck of an event. That Astral 8's going to be unbelievable, folks. I thank you all for joining us. Thank everyone you see here on the screen for making this channel possible. I tell you what, folks, I've said it once. I'm going to say it a million times. I can't tell you how much I appreciate each and every one of you joining us. Remember, folks, a kind word goes a long way. Let's try to be supportive of one another in life because this is some hard times we're going through, each and every one of us, but it's going to get better, I guarantee you. God bless. Until next time. Happy racing, race fans.